name is David Miller and I'm president of Insects Limited and I'm here today to explain to you how to put your traps together and what to do uh, with the traps after you have put them together. The first one we're going to look at today is a pheromone trap for the clothes moth. As you receive your traps, you'll notice that the instructions are clearly uh, marked on the back. The first thing that we do is we pull a trap out of the box. There are 10 traps in this particular kit. So I'm going to then crease this trap so that along the uh, scores and then get this in a position to then snap together. After I've done this, the second step is to go through and uh, remove the protective covering over the glue. This is a sticky glue that will capture the adult insects. Now you take your pheromone lures. This is a bullet lure. I take this out and place it in the center of the trap. And then the last step I, I do when I'm assembling the trap is to take a pin and write right on the trap the date that I place it out. And the reason for this is so that you know how long the trap will be effective. The pheromone lure lasts for 60 days, and then at the end of 60 days, you are dispose of the trap in the regular trash. After I've marked the date on the trap, I then take the trap and place it in a flat area, and then this flat area then would be areas where you might find uh, closed moth activity. It could be in a closet, it could be next to a rug, it could be by some taxidermy equipment, and then on a regular basis, just stop by and to take a look inside the trap. But you can see here a very extreme case of clothes moth, both case making and webbing clothes moth, coming to the bullet lure in the center of the trap. Each female lays 50 to 100 days and they have two generations per year. This is a very destructive insect. So hopefully today you've learned a little bit about what the traps are, where to put them, how to put them together, and what to expect from them. Thank you.